All right, let's go. All right, everybody. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I am still working on my introduction video. I've got the audio up. Now I got to find the actual video that goes with the audio. So that's what we're working on, but we will get it done. All right, let's see who is here. Let's do this real quick. It wasn't John. <laughs> that was a test widget. But Al Hertzia donated $4.99, so thank you very much. I thought I'd throw that in there and uh, give accolades to Al Hertzia, baby, right away for the $4.99. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to Aaron. What is going on, brother? Good to see you. Ed Klein, let's go, baby. Come on, let's do it. Mr. Salim, what is going on? Yeah, Salim, the black screen, I'm working on it, trying to figure out and mirror the two, um, the image and the music together. Uh, yes, Nick Buckingham. You are just as beautiful, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you in the stream. Thank you, Mr. Stuart Morgan. Let's go, he did two rounds, 13 and 14 under. Congratulations there, welcome, welcome. Well done, Stuart. Let's see if we can improve, give you a little bit of uh, guidance on some of these shots. We are going advanced clubs today, advanced rookie clubs. So uh, don't, uh, don't get all hacked out that we're playing with an extra mile eight and things like that, just due to the fact that we haven't played very much and most of these accounts are regulated or relegated, thank you. And uh, we're in the rookie brackets most of the way, but we'll uh, we'll do our best. Mr. Mark Jones, yes sir, let's go baby. Oh man, thank you uh, Mark for asking. The job was spectacular today. We did uh, you know full day of uh, conversations and uh, uh, Zoom meetings or you know team meetings on uh, on on screen, and I got a lot of HR stuff out of the way. Uh, I've got my benefits put together. I've got a lot more work tomorrow to do to follow up. But uh, for now, today was a great day. It was if it was eight o'clock, and then all of a sudden it was five o'clock. So the day went extremely fast. Thank you, thank you, thank you for asking, sir. Takashi, yes, sir. Michael Rookley, let's go, bro. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's, uh, oh yeah, I got this so what ready to go right here, baby. Let's go. There it is. All right. What is up, Mr. Max Werner from Germany? Yes, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Much appreciated, brother. Um, Aaron says, uh, Dave, two of 42 stage four lockdown. Just hoping mom and age care. Yeah, not much else on my mind. Hope you're going well. Yes, sir. Aaron, thank you, sir. Prayers out to uh, you and everybody else who has uh, elderly parents like I do. My dad's 92 um, in their facilities and hopefully everybody stays safe. Stuart, 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 let's go. No, brother. How about that? Stuart, listen to this. I beat the field by four shots. I took the $200 first prize plus all my buy-in back, which was 130 bucks. So I basically left there was 339, but I did not have a birdie all day and you needed at least a birdie to win a skin. And all I did was go bogey, bogey, bogey. And then I went par, 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 par. And then I went bogey. Par, 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 no, par, bogey, bogey, par, 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 bogey, bogey. And I shot 80 um, from the, the tips. So from all the way from the back. So seven of us, no, 68, 6,900 yards. So, uh, and it was 20 mile an hour winds. It was partial rain, but uh, to shoot 80, I was so pleased. I'm telling you what, I hit the ball right down the middle. Um, the bogeys that got me in trouble were I hit behind the ball and I scuffed it. 
occasionally on my approach shot. So that left me short or short right or short left or whatever it is. And then I just didn't get up and down as efficiently as I do because it was so wet, it would just grab and uh, wouldn't roll out like uh, we would expect it to. But I hit some great approach shots into greens. I hit the tee ball. I hit every single fairway um, on Sunday. It was great. It was a great warm up for our USAM Tour Tournament Day on Sunday upcoming this week so big confidence booster going into next uh next sunday this weekend's tournament so alejandro yes sir thank you my friend thank you good to have you here as well amit hello sir let's go oh look at him he's going power three 25 percent max rough bump well i'll tell you what i'm gonna do ready here we go we're going to go ahead and do a power zero. We're going to use a rocket. We're going to do a rough bump. We're going to go 10% at min. And we're going to aim it just to the right edge of the pin. And we're going to go min adjust at 10% minus 0 0.2. How about that? I've tried it once. I've made it once. Let's see if we can't do it again. So here we go. Hole number one, show grid. But yes, yeah, so we get to go first. All right, one and a half back, one left. Pretty much right there. 4.0 at 10 min is 2.5 minus 2, so it's 2.3 rings. Perfect release. Let's go. Dead center. Perfect. Let's go. Come on. Way to start. So what, baby? Let's go. Aaron, yeah, a few more years before I turn pro. Maybe. You never know. Maybe so. Hey, Indiana Hoosiers in the stream. Yes, sir. Welcome, brother. All right. Come on, our class. Let's ride, Mr. Perfect. Let's go, baby. Oh, Stort says uh, plus five men close with the quarterback. Okay. And then Amit said with his power three plus 25, he also made the, uh, the hole in one. So awesome. Again, as uh, streamers and other people know who play this game a lot, it doesn't really, if you can make it your way and I can make it my way, neither of us are wrong, right? It's just two, three, four, five different ways of making it. So it's just a different approach. So, all right, so far so good. Woo, look who's in the stream, Mr. Ricardo Brown. Welcome, sir. My gosh, good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, good to see you. Thank you for the boom. Come on, store DCP. Let's go, Mr. Nick Buckingham. Thank you for the boom, sir. Store Morgan, I'm on rocket now. <laughs> All right, what do we have as hole number two? Um, what is this? Par four. Oh, this one. Okay. All right, so I play this one to the right, obviously. I play a Titan ball. Now, there's two extra yards with an extra mile eight versus an extra mile seven. So the extra mile eight, you don't need any overpower. It's just beautiful, full toss spin, two left spin, aim it to the left of the hole, hit it perfect at 15% at max, and it's right next to the hole each and every time if you hit it perfect, of course. Extra mile seven, Maybe we'll play that on another account after this to see exactly what the difference is. But for now, we're going to play the EM8. We're going to put a power three ball on. We're going to make it at 15% and everything else should be ready to go here. We are playing it down the right hand side for a full top spin, full left spin and see if we can get it to and in the hole. 
Um, yellow ring cuts the left rough, so be very careful that if you hit great left, it's gonna hit the rough, it's gonna go in that water. Then you're gonna be um, making par to maybe bogey. So be very careful with these shots here coming up. That's right, Takashi. Very, very true statement, sir. There are many ways to skin a cat. That is for sure. But we are not here at On the Screws Golf to harm any animals or individuals at any time in our streams. I just want to clarify that for all the pet lovers out there. Come on, Wade McKinney. Nice to see you, brother. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dane Park. There he is, baby, in the stream. Welcome, brother. Welcome. All right. That's tough. Tough, 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 tough right there for our opponent. Yellow ring. Full two. Put it right like that. Four, five. Fifteen. It's two, six. Four, five is a big number, though. Hope this doesn't go all the way through. Perfect it is. I tried to take it just to touch off that shot. Yeah. All the way through. That's all right. Little chip shot back is not going to be a problem whatsoever. When you have a 4.5 mile an hour, we may want to take off a half a top spin. So I'm going to put that on my notes here. Four to 4.5 miles per hour minus one half top spin. The last time I played this in the first account, I think it was a 3-7 wind. And uh, that put me, I mean, one half of a square to the left of the stick, even with the stick. So it was uh, very, very close to... Um, a perfect and beautiful shot. Don't, don't, don't. All right, good, nice, that's close. Don't want to see people go into the rough. We can help it. We want to beat them out right if we have to, right? DCP in the hole. Love it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What do we got here? Needle, Paul, brother. What is going on? Thank you for stopping by, my friend. Good luck. Thank you, beast. Kill it. Long time no see. Sorry, I've been on golf clash, clash break for three or four months on my way home. Can't just can't stay. All right, brother. I got gotcha. you. Awesome. Thank you for stopping by. You know, travel safe home. <clears throat> so great to see you. And uh, glad you stopped by, man. Miss you. <clears throat> oh, Nick says there's a dead spot. Okay. I did not know that. I did not know that. With an EMAM 8, it's usually not a dead spot. <laughs> it has enough juice to get you through. All right. What do we got here? Oh, this is the refurbished hole number three. So... Here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to keep this the um, I'm going to keep the Titan on. I am going to switch to Horizon and an EM8 and leave that Titan. All right, here we go. All right, so the second shot here, um, if we do what we're supposed to do, which is we're gonna go 10% max, power three ball, get that horizon in there. We're gonna look to get the ball up near that rough line, depending on what the wind value is here. Well, it's only 2.4, so and it's a kind of a little push. So we can go full top and two left. Right about. I like to say that blue, left of the blue ring touching that uh, rough line over there. And 2.4 is a 1.3 adjustment. And 
and then just a teeny bit of under power hit it perfect and the reason I do it a teeny bit of under power you know the last time I did this I made it all the way out to the rough line because it rolls out just like that oh my god Oh my gosh, not good. Give me an X, give me a Nirvana 4. Okay, we can still make it uh, to the green. Oh, that's so bad. All right, um, so EM8 full top spin minus one half bar. Oh, and then full left spin. Good gracious, that, that's the second time, both accounts. So I can't even get uh, a chance at the Horizon Rough Bump, which I've made in, uh, in non-tournament play, just in tour play. Gosh, silly. Silly, silly. So 3.8. At zero max is 1.7. So about there. And that is wow, way, way, way to the left. That's got to go hard though. Come on off. Come all the way off. Nope. It's going to be a long putt. But, like I said, if you have the uh, Nirvana 4, you can still make the green with uh, the wind push as well as the distance on that Nirvana. So, uh, the only detriment is you cannot start working on the adjustments for the opener and the weekend with that um, horizon if you're going to play silliness like I did um, and try to get it as close to the uh, rough edge, the end of the fairway as possible. And I believe that was at 2.4 miles an hour, right? Now, with an EM7, you can go full toss spin, two left spin, and I'm sure you're gonna have no problem whatsoever because you have two yards less with the, uh, the EM7 than you do with the EM8. So let's just make this, get out of here. Two, 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 baby. Good start. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. All right, I'm missing some stuff here. All right. There's a dead spot. Yep. Hi, Hank. Looking forward to watching some of your stuff. I learned of your channel via Ot Ot. Nice. He's usually my go to streamer. Good luck with your round, my man. Thank you, Rob. Mr. Norman, everybody. Let's do a Mr. Big Rob. What is up? Let's go. I know. I got greedy, Clash. I know. Very, very greedy. Very greedy. Very greedy. So what? <laughs> what is up, Big Rob? All uh, right, what do we want to do here? I mean, we can screw around or we can actually try to win, right? So, this is an eight. So, you got a little bit of backspin. You can go two side. So, three, three, 15 max, 1.9. Try to counterbalance. That's gonna hit the trees and come straight down. Yep. Is what it is. That's what happens when you get a little greedy and you don't want to play the uh, the boring. What do you call it? Um, race hole, race car hole. So we're not going to. Um, we're gonna say good game, and we're just gonna leave. You win. You win. You win. You win. All right, hole number four. I do not have a really good play for this yet, but 
what we normally do is we go to the left and we take it in with a Saturn, you know, like four or five backspin, one left spin, and um, try to make it that way. The other way you can do it with an EM8 is you can take it out to the right and coming in from the right hand side, you can go minus 15% if you hit it far enough with a, um, a thorn. So I'm gonna try that method to be honest with you. I'm gonna still use the, the Titan ball and see if we can't pound it out there depending on, I'm gonna go back for a second because what I wanna do is I want to put in the Saturn for its back spin. So the back spin is 82 for the Saturn, only 66 for the Goliath. 66 is plenty for this shot, but it's always nice to have extra. Um, if you're coming in from a full wedge as compared to a mid or a min range. So, See if we can get this done. Yeah, hole in one on one, brother. Let's do it. Hey, what is up, Johnny boy? Nice to see you, man. Thank you for the good luck, sir. Gary Clark, let's go. So freaking what? Right. So freaking what? All right, top full. I'm not even gonna, you know, you know what? Take off the 15. You don't need anything at zero. Let's just put 10 on just in case. 3.9, 2.1, you want it to be about here with a curl, be fine. So 1, 2.1 is there, so that would be about there. A little over adjustment on purpose. Little great ball, you over adjust on purpose, so you, when you grade it, you don't do stuff like that. Ah, boo hiss. So from this distance, we are going to be a long way home. So might be a um, full Saturn, or it could be a min sniper. So uh, if it's min sniper, we're gonna be in trouble. And if it's a full Saturn, we might have a chance. So I will tell you that I am going to go minus 15% on the second shot. All right, nice drive. Yeah, Saturn. I mean, sniper. Look at that. Come on, Mr. Asshole. What's up, brother? This is just not good, it's not good at all, see? Ah, so bad. Let's see if we can just dump it in there. So 2.3 at min minus 15 is 1.6. Move it over to there like that. Ooh, great ball's not even good either. Oh, just, miss. just get it on the green for a birdie. All right, we've messed up two holes in a row, folks. I apologize for that. I'm trying to give you some shots that you can replicate. Um, but on hole three, we got away with making the eagle because uh, we had a big enough club with a uh, Nirvana four. Uh, unfortunately on that drive and then on this drive again we messed it up as well but again this is like a just a time to throw it out there and try different things um, even though we're doing very well I'm not going to forfeit this account I mean you're six under after three um, there's no way that we're not gonna make uh, make the what do you call it the opener so we'll just go ahead and continue to play as best as we can but unfortunately, holes three and four, I'm not giving you good adjustment or sound performances. I apologize for that, but we'll get it. Mr. Asshole, thank you so much for the 99. Let's go, baby. Little so what for Mr. Asshole.
All right, one more thing, everybody. Ed Klein, what's up, baby? I, I, I know I need your EM9. That's so funny. Hey, um, everybody, um, can we do, can you do me a favor? Mr. Rob Norman is new to the stream. Um, Gordon, Mr. Ott Ott, he um, has stopped by. Watch a little bit of the information and the channel. Can we all give Mr. Rob Norman a healthy shout out and welcome while I give him the so what welcome. So what? Welcome, brother. Thank you, Rob. Thanks for being here, brother. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Rob. And Gary, Dane. Thank you, guys. Stuart, let's go, baby. Come on, Big Rob. Let's do it. Oh, bunch of uh, sixes. One, two, two, one. I was just fortunate to go two, 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 one. All right, still up by one. All right, hole number five. What do we got here? Par five. Oh, you know what I tried to do? And we're not going to do it this time. I tried to hit it to the right-hand side with a big curl and backspin. And uh, unfortunately, um, I was not able to perform at a high level with that. <laughs> and I don't know if that angle is really a good angle anyway coming in. But I'm going to try it again. I mean, I was able to make a eagle out of it because I knocked it in with a minus 10% down the hill. Um, you know what? We're not going to do it. We're just going to do what we're supposed to do. So we're going to go Kingmaker here. And we're going to go EM8 Big Dog. Good, good, good. Firefly, Thorn, Horn, uh, um, Goliath. All right. All that back in here. Big dog. Ah, oh, Rob, welcome, brother. Subscriber. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. All right, let me do this real quick. So freaking what? That's right, baby. Come on, Gary Clark. Good to see you, brother. Good, Rob. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. All right, all right, all right. Boom, boom, boom. Plus 20 on the tee shot, okay? I have no idea on the second shot, but that's okay. Let's do this. All right, so we're going to go to the left-hand side, minus 20%, probably go full top, well, probably not full, because if we go, did they take the uh, trees? No, the trees are still there, I think, yeah. So we're not going to go full top. We'll go full, maybe, listen, I got all of the wrong clubs because this is not the same hole I thought it was. My fault. All right, that's okay. We'll still be able to uh, play it the way we want to. Um because I'm not even going to use the big dog. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play between these two tree lines here, and I'm going to try to hit that little pad with full toss spin, two right spin, and uh, adjust appropriately and hit it perfect and line ourselves up into the fairway up there. And then what we'll do is we'll use a Goliath, two backspin, 10% at max, and make a... Um, albatross. That's what the plan is. All right, so if we can go back to this. All right, see, I have a Saturn on there. Darn it. Ah, I can use this. We'll use this one. It's better than the big dog. All right, so full top, two right. I'm trying to figure out where that landing spot is. We're about half a ring short. Okay, so then. 
20% at 2.8 is 1.7. Full in a little bit. Ah, great ball is not going to hurt us. Not gonna, great ball left is not going to hurt us. Great ball right hurts us every time. Oh, it hit that tree. No. <laughs> Man, you got to hit the ball perfect. If you want to hit it out here and get it way up there and have an easy shot for an albatross, play it that way, but hit it perfect. And it'll slip right past that uh, brown tree out in the fairway. And it's a simple 10% downhill max, two backspin straight in the hole. And if you can hit it perfect, it's an albatross. But uh, we'll settle for an eagle here. We're under that tree. Hopefully we will be uh, far enough past the tree where we won't be redlined. And we won't have to chip out or, or something like that. It'll give us a chance at hitting it uh, down close near the green and then for an easy chip in. Oh boy. That had some uh, of the juice taken off of the front of from that tree. All right, can we get through? Here's the question. Oh yeah, plenty of distance. All right, so. Here we go. Two and two. All right, three, five, 10, max, one, seven. Dead center, perfect. Come on, show me an albatross from the rough. curves left to right and a little bit short but that's all right easy easy eagle again you know what if you have the nirvana four the shots that i'm showing you if you get in trouble like on hole three hole five you can still make the green, right? And you saw that you don't even need an overpower on this hole. As long as you're a little bit past those trees and you have a shot, not under the branches, um, you'll be able to get it down to the green, give yourself a chance at the eagle. Go in, close. So again, I know Gordon plays it like, okay, I'm gonna give you two or three rings of um, adjustment to the left or to the right so that when you're playing and you hit it great left or right, um, you're not gonna be in the rough and you're still gonna give yourself a chance at making the green no matter what. I agree with that philosophy 100%, yet at the same time, when you graduate and you get clubs a little bit higher, you can kind of move and change that philosophy a little bit to be a little bit more aggressive. So that's all I'm saying. Wayne Lilly from Poland, baby. What's going on, man? Nice to see you, sir. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm all well, brother. How are you? Come on, buddy. Let's do it. So what? Let's go. Show us so what. That's right. So what? All right, what do we got hole six? Par three. All right, you know what? I don't, I played it to the right with a, with a, um, with a sniper here last time. I'm not, I'm gonna do it again. I'm, I'm gonna play it with a katana ball and a sniper. And I didn't make it last time. I don't think I'm going to make it if I play it to the left. 
Um, maybe somebody has a, a really good adjustment to the left, but um, I don't know. I'm just going to play it from the right and see if we can't come up with some type of, you know, um, strategy that puts us in the hole. I know I played it at the hole and I was high. I played below the hole and I stayed below. I'm going to try to, you know, kind of compensate maybe a square below the hole and uh, see if we can get it done. I'm going to play it. I have no idea. I'm going to play it at 15. Again, complete guess. Power two ball. Sniper. See if we can't get it. I'm going to play it like this gentleman is, but I'm going to play it um, more cur not curl, but more side spin and uh, see if we can't get it uh, at least close and then have a workable possibility for a hole in one. What's up, Mark Barry? Let's go. Woo. Do it. Not bad with basic ball. Not too bad with the basic ball. So. Where's the min? All right, so max is there. So if I can go four and two. Kind of like that, right? Right there. Four and two at max. 3.8 at 15 is 4.2. And perfect. So at least we have a chance at seeing what this adjustment looks like. A little hard and a little high. So a little bit further back. Um, let's take a look here. So if we went 15%, take off five, that's only four. Let's put on so 4.4. So we can go 20% there. That brings it two tenths further back. That brings it a little bit closer. So We'll go 20%. We'll go sniper, 20%, four back spin, two left spin. Katana. Aim, ball guide, one square. That is number six. Twenty percent. Well, I just figured that out, Marky. <laughs> Thank you, though. Oh, and then Rob says red ring by the rough on the left. Okay, all right, I like it. I don't know if there's a small funnel. I just know that. Uh, you know, I've been working all day at my new job, which is thankful. Thank you, thank you. And I am, um, this is the first, I'm looking at it, right? I played one this morning at like 6 a.m. just to screw around. And uh, I played it that way, but, uh, all right, so was it blue or white ring? It was white ring, white ring here. And I think it was three and four like that looks good. And then I'm gonna push it up a little bit to here. 2.9 at 10 at min is one, two. See what happens. And then curl to there. And perfect. Woo, that was right at the top of the fairway. Well below the hole, I think. Yeah. But still, better than our opponent did. So, this is, you know, one of those race car holes. You know how it goes. If I didn't put that little curl on it, man, that would have stayed up in that rough line up there. So, 
All right, we got back to backs here, don't we? Right? And I think I'm gonna stick with exactly what I have there. We're gonna go the katana. Yep, all right, here we go. 10%, yep. 10%, 2%, or excuse me, 10% power two ball. We're gonna go two top, full right. We're gonna have the white ring cut the bottom right rough, then move up a quarter of a ring after we adjust. All right. So right there, two top, full right. And then I wanna move up a half a ring. Then I'm gonna go 4.3 is 1.8. And then right there. And perfect. Let's see. just a complete lucky guess. It's the same thing. 2.08. I mean, 222 yards. I mean, it's so difficult to get that to go in the hole without any real benchmark up there. So, uh, I mean, that's the best I can tell you right there, which was with an EMA Katana, 10% mid, two top, full right, that white ring down at the bottom, then you kind of move it up away from that rough by a half a ring and then over a little bit and then adjust at minimum. And uh, I mean, it's close every time, but I just don't know if it'll go in. And if it goes in, I'm gonna say it's pure luck. If it went in for me, I would just say it's pure luck. So. Hey, Jim Stead! <laughs> what is going on, brother? Everybody, let's give a little so what shout out to Mr. Jim Stead, former peer of mine over at Faring Pharmaceuticals. Brother, so good to see your name in the stream. Let's go, baby. So what? Come on, Jimmy. Hope you're well, brother. Oh, uh, also, Jimmy, have you, uh, are you, did you join the USAM tour again? Or have you uh, for, for, um, forgotten about the competitive golf for the rest of the year? Yeah, let's go, Wayne Lilly. Let's go. Yeah, Michael, it is a true lottery hole for everyone in Golf Clash for sure. I, to be honest with you, <clears throat> I don't even know why they even have this hole. They should just get rid of it, in my opinion. Revamp it and get rid of it. All right, Max, let's see what we're going to do here this time. What did we do last time? Four back, two left. Four back, two left. 20%. Two point three at max is two point seven. All right, so this is crazy. Let's do this. Move it back here like this, and then two point seven. And then a little extra power just because of the wind. And hit it great. And watch it go in the hole because I hit it great. <laughs> oh, I told you. I told you. So what? All right. I love when you hit the ball great. 
to the right and it goes in. Love that. Love that. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry that, uh, you know what? Next year, it'll be up and running. I mean, obviously, different states have different timetables and things like that. But uh, sorry that uh, you're not able to uh, have any tournaments around your area. Come on, Dane. Let's go, John. Right, Stuart? Mr. Buckingham? I know. It's At least it's fun watching it go in, even though it's that bad, right? Fun when you miss and it still goes in. But we do know what the adjustments are going to be, though, right? So um, I think we're going to be able to dial this one in on a regular basis for... Um, for the tournament on opening and weekend um, where we're going to make probably maybe 30 40 percent of the time we'll be able to make a hole in one there i think that's my opinion all right 11 after seven all right hole number eight all right we're gonna go titan ball for sure here this is this is a little suspect here, but this is what we're going to do. I missed the green last time here, and I got clobbered for it. Um, you know what I could do is not play the rough bump, and I could try to play the little bounce onto the fairway. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Because what happens is if you play for the bounce on the fairway and it just to roll out onto the green and make your eagle every time, it's probably smart. But if you try for the rough bump, right, what happens if you hit great left like I did? Well, you miss and it's in that back bunker. And then you have to hit the amazing perfect shot to, um, to get it in the hole. So, I mean... <clears throat> See, he's got an eight as well, which is great. You, you don't need to do that, right? So you move it over a little bit. Well, he's not helping us because he's in the rough. He's not showing us what he's got. All right, there we go. So right there. So that's too much. So two toss spin, not even half the right spin. You don't even need the right spin, just two top spin. All right, so he's going half back spin, half right spin, one right spin. Half a back, one right, no adjustment for the uh, for the wind. And I'm saying great left is probably going to hit in the rough and then roll out into the fairway. Oh, he hit it right on the edge. Oh, that's great. Oh, my gosh, that's so close. All right, so that was like... Um, go half and zero right and we'll go 15 4.5 is 2.5 this is gonna be close Whew, I barely got it in that uh, perfect zone There it is, folks. We'll have to go back and watch that. Um, I think that was zero top spin, half a left spin, and um, we're going to, um, and again, extra mile eight, big difference. There's two extra yards compared to the six, seven with the eight. So, oh, Marky's playing it with one top spin. Okay, well, depends on your club, right? If you have an eight. We don't need to. If Thanks, Stuart. Appreciate that, brother. But if... Uh, and Rob says play one backspin. Let's go ahead and watch what, uh, watch what we did here. Because that is a really, 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 really close, close shot. 
<clears throat> now the problem was you can't really see where the ball guide is. You have to guess as to where it's at. All right, let's try it again here. Let's see if we can do a little bit better job this time. What did we do? Four back, two left. 2.8. Right there because of the wind. 20%, 2.8 at max is 3.3. A little bit of overpower. We hit it perfect this time and we will miss. Again, really solid shot. <coughs> More than likely gets you uh, close to winning uh, on this hole, whether they go to the right side or to the left side. And I think um, when you get to go first and go ahead to the right over here and show them that it's pretty simple play. Um, if they're not familiar with the big dog strength and some of the uh, elements that go with side spin, back spin, and then wind push, I think 2.36 might be good here. I don't know. A little under power, right back to normal. Ooh, dead center, perfect. Really nice shot. Oh, just a bit short. Yeah. All right. Good luck, sir. Good luck. Thank you, Dane. Appreciate that. Thank you, Wayne. Stuart. Mark Berry. Thank you. All right. Let's go back, if we can, real quick, to take a look at the shot. Not that I'm trying to show off or anything, but I want the adjustment as well. All right, Titan Ball EM8, 15% max. Clear ring. Took a picture. Take a picture. And again, I take a, a picture of it so I can go back and take a look at all the different opportunities to find a, um, a landmark where we want a ring to be or the actual landing spot to be, etc. Man, that is one tenth, one tenth off, right? All right, so that is one half left. So zero top spin, one half left spin. Oops, sorry. And it looks like the inner white and the outer of the clear is right next to that purple bush, okay? And the ball guide is, you know, pretty much at the stick. So, ball guide. That stick. And then um, inside, white ring. Cut purple, inside purple. Push. All right, perfect. All right, get rid of that. Close all this stuff out. Get back into the game. Let's go. 
Yeah, thank you, Wayne. Appreciate that, brother. I believe you are correct, brother. I believe you are correct. All right, hole number nine. What is hole number nine? I know it's a part five, but I can't remember which one it is. Sorry, I'm thinking, I'm thinking in my head here. Oh, it's that one. Okay, so it's the one I thought. What? what did I miss? Four, six, and seven. What was six? What was four? Oh, that was the part four. Oh, that's right. I made the albatross on that one on the other account. That's why I'm 15. All right. Um, hole nine. Sorry, folks. I'm walking through my, my, my stuff here. Okay, here we go. Kingmaker, 20%. Now we've got it. Now, I can't remember if the, I'm sure the pin is in the same location. I don't think they've moved pins ever. I just think they're jockeying some of the uh, trees and the um, landing spots around. I know this is a change as well. I just don't know what the change is. This is what I tried last time. It didn't work. Maybe I can just get it right to there. 2.2, 20, 1.3. Let's try it. Dead. D-E-A-D. I thought it was going to be too far right. All right. Now we're going to see what we do. So EM8, full top spin, full left spin, right side rough bump. at 329 yards. Now we'll figure out whether or not the big dog was the right call or if we can get away with a sniper based on distance. Or maybe if we're close enough, we could actually use the horizon and do a rough bump down that hill. That would be interesting, huh? Right here is where you get trouble right there see how it stays in the rough it just grabs it and stays there and that's why um i saw a couple people get stuck in that and i'm like i'm not trying that if i can help it All right so yeah this is max oh, so great Full and two and a half, 2.1. I'm gonna go minus 10 at max is 1.1. 1 .1. Oh boy. That minus 10 is not gonna work, but oh well. Take one half of backspin off there. So, big dog, 
seven or eight. You're gonna take, so it's gonna be four back spin, two and a half right spin, minus 10% max. I think that was it. Follow these instructions, hit them perfect, and uh, don't get in the, in the the rough lines like I did. You might be able to get to 16, maybe even 17, right? But we're gonna post a 15 pretty easily right here like that. And we still have hole number seven to try and dial in. We have hole number four that we can dial in. So um, number six, that race car hole, there's nothing you can do about that, you just guess. Um, so 15 or 16 might be the number this tournament. So 30, 31, 32. And rookie, you can get yourself a gold banner. I wouldn't go any more than one. I played EM6 earlier. One ring push up was fine. Okay, thanks, Rob. Good, good. Oh, come on, Marky. Two Albies. Let's go, baby. Yeah, Wayne E. Thank you, brother. Oh, he made that? Oh, that was a great shot. Well played. I didn't see what he did. I just obviously went in. Only 654 games. This is an alt account, obviously. Hey, there's Chef Dude, my brother. I can't wait till they group us all into one uh, bracket as well. It'll be super fun to watch and to participate in. Come on, brother. What is going on, man? <laughs> I love that you came into the stream. Wonderful, brother. Thanks for being here, man. I know you don't like me playing rookie and call me a sandbagger and I steal banners from everybody else. I get it. I get it. Look at that. Look how close that turned out to be. And it was way up in the fringe. Wow. the different um, curls on uh, the ring just to see how uh, how it comes out so this was the ball in the middle of the white ring with the curl I wonder what happens if you put the ball to the inside of the left of the power circle to see if it pushes it up there. I'm not sure. There it is. I mean. Four, six, seven. Those are the numbers. Those are the, the holes that are going to be um, difficult to, uh, to make on a regular basis. So. Just got to not hit a bad tee shot on four. We recovered on three. We recovered on eight. Well, no, eight. We hit a great shot in there on eight. Um, we did recover on five to make the eight. So three, four, and five we're going to make uh, a little bit better shots on. But not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right. I mean, what time is it? 6.30. All right. I got a few things to do. Uh, maybe I'll come on uh, a little bit later. But uh, this was my one 
hour stream I wanted to throw in here and uh, want to thank all of you for stopping by and uh, being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Much appreciated, people. Yeah, Wayne, it's all good. Hey, Davey, what is up, Junior? Let's go, baby. Come on. There is. Hey, uh, Clark, I'm going to call you here in a few minutes. I owe you uh, a phone call. It was awesome, uh, Clark. It was a great day, first day for sure. Um, yeah, I got the job. Thank you, Wayne. Much appreciated, brother. Have good clubs and balls makes a difference. And if uh, you don't do your homework and hit perfect, yeah, exactly. All right, Rifter. Good to see you, brother. All right, so it's uh, almost 6.30. Yeah, I'll come on later for probably one more account. And, uh, you know, we'll leave some for tomorrow and Wednesday and things like that. So for now, let's do a so what outtake. And uh, we'll see you guys later on tonight. Thanks for being here. Thanks for showing up. God bless you all. Have fun. One more, folks. Turn off the music and leave the So What video to go. Again, thanks for being here. Have a great night, and we will see you later.